Welcome everybody to my Anivia Pro Guide. In this guide, I will show you how to play Anivia the correct way. Now, first off, we're gonna start with runes. And for runes, I like to take attack speed, glyphs and seals, as well as critical chance, and movement speed, quintessences, as well as armor penetration marks. Now I'm playing Anivia as a support brand here and notice how I get the CS. I do this because Anivia needs money fast because Anivia's skills require a lot of mana. Now right here is a situation where I know they're gonna dive me but I'm gonna let them dive me because I know my passive is up so Leona will lose a lot of HP and I will be able to go back and buy another mana crystal. All right, perfect. Now, as I go in the river, I see this monster and I immediately wall it out of there because I know it's gonna attack me and I don't wanna lose any HP. Now, another technique is, I know the blue is right here, so I pull the aggro and then I wall him out of there so the enemies will not know where he is. Now, Leona here is coming to kill me, so I'm gonna stun her, and I'm gonna put a wall behind her to confuse her. Now watch, as she thinks I'm gonna run away, but actually I'm gonna run back here, stun her again, and she will not be able to kill me. Now, just to extend my vision, I'm gonna put a ward at this wall right here, stun those two, and I'm gonna ward those ghosties, and just to make sure, I'm gonna put another ward. Now, God 6 is engaging here, so I have to just wall right there, because I know he's not gonna be able to kill them, and I don't wanna get any damage as well. Now, I'm starting a fight with Wukong here and I wall right there so Elise can finish him but for some reason she was not able to kill him. Another trick many people do not know as well is that if you put three wards in the shape like I do right here you get the old seeing eye and you won't be able to be backdoored the whole game. Now here we have a team fight with Kha'Zix again and I see Brent still on the right side, flash in there just to make sure we're gonna win this. But as this fight progresses, I know we're not gonna be able to do it, so I have to war right there to make sure that I'm not gonna die. So here's another team fight, and this is a pretty good example of using the wall, because I know Ken would have tried to save his fortune right there, and it's just not worth taking the risk. Now this one is a bit more advanced, I have to wall Talon in there because he's gonna lead the whole enemy team to the bot lane straight to our minions, which is gonna result in them getting much more money. Here's another pro tip which you should only do if you get the timing right. Now watch closely. As I just kill this monster right here, after I die. Now, I do this because now I can go back to base with all this money and buy more items. Now right here, my team is trying to kill Darius. But I am the only one who knows that he is just baiting. So I'll just wall my team out of there to protect them from taking any more damage. Now here my team is trying to engage in a team fight, but I have to flash and wall because it's pretty clear that we are unable to kill all of them. Now at this state of the game, you're gonna need a lot of vision. So I'm gonna kill this monster right here. It's just gonna take me a little bit of time, but it's totally worth it because you're gonna have a free ward. All right. Perfect. So right here, watch closely, you can see Caitlyn's gun is already broken. 
which is the reason why later in the game she's gonna be killed so easily right here. So again, I just wall to make sure that I don't get killed as well. I know Caitlyn's gun is broken, so I have to protect her from dying with this wall. But she flashed over it with her skill, which is why she died just moments later into the game. Now I know Caitlyn is following Leona and she's following her upwards, but I know it's faster downwards so I wall right there and which is why Nazos is completely able to kill her without any problem. Now as I said earlier, vision is really important at this state of the game, which is why I'm buying some more vision here and some more trinkets just to restore my mana and HP. Now this is a good example of great map awareness because I see bot lane pushing our tower and I have to wall ash right there because she's just rushing in and she would totally have died right there. Now here I get ganked from Shimana, but I put a wall in front of her to confuse her which leads her going upwards and now I will actually be able to escape because I have a lot of slows and it's no problem for me to escape this fight right there. <laughs> 